Hello there. We all will be celebrating Christmas next week. And we could dream of all the beauty Christmas gifts, such as the Christmas trees or the gingerbread cookies, or maybe the infinite round of stories about Christmas that we get to hear every year. Or maybe some other things that reminds you of Christmas. Nonetheless, I'd like to share with you a beautiful, wonderful story, a Christmas story about a couple. The title of the story is called The Love Token. It is based on a novel by O. Henry called The Gift of the Magi. So, are you ready to receive the love from this story that will be coming your way? Years ago, there was a story of a husband and wife. People talked and discussed about it. Some even admired the couple very much. The story began at Christmas time. The wife named Della, she was kind and good and everybody loves her. Della and her husband lived in a furnished flat of $8 per week. But they were happy and they loved each other truly. It was only a day before Christmas when Della started to count her savings. It was only a dollar and 87 cents. Although she did try to save left money every day. Her husband's income was only $20 per week. I want to give my husband Jim a Christmas gift but what can I buy with a dollar and 87 cents? Della sighed. She was so disappointed. She lied down on her stool and cried but not long. I must do something. I'm sure there must be a way to do good work. Yes, I know. Suddenly, she rose and walked to the mirror. She opened the bandana from her hair. The glowing long hair fell down to her knees. Della did her hair again. She took her brown jacket and brown hat. She went downstairs in a hurry and walked to Madame Sofroni's buy good hair. Uh, uh. Excuse me, madam. Mm. Would you like to buy my hair? Madame Sofroni checked her hair and then decided to buy Della's hair for $20. Okay. Thank you. In a few minutes, she felt her head was so light. She tried to shook it. But Della saw her hair in Madame Sofroni's hands. Tears started to drop on her cheeks. 
Della rub her tears. However, she also felt very guilty. Jim loves my hair. It's precious for him, as precious as his watch. His grandfather gave it to Jim's father. Then, his father gave it to Jim. Since it had been old, the strap was rotten. So, Jim put his watch in his pocket. Della was so sure of herself, she knew what to give Jim. Della walked from store to store, and at last, she found it. It was a golden chain for Jim's precious watch. The price was $21. Della paid it, then she went home quickly. She wrapped the chain beautifully. The preparation for Christmas is done. I have to prepare myself. I need my hair curled. Jim had never been late to home. At 7 p.m., he stepped the stairs to his flat. He opened the door, stepped in, then closed. But he stood still, looking at Della. Della felt so uneasy as she said, do, do I look beautiful? But Jim was still looking at her. There was something rather keen in his eyes. It was not anger, not disappointment. Della was shuddered. She tried to explain. Jim, I can't feel Christmas without giving any presents to you. So, I sold my hair for this. Della slowly placed her gift on the table. I'm so sorry, Jim, but would you please open it? Jim walked to the table and opened the present. He looked at the golden chain wrapped beautifully. He did not speak nor sing. until Della encouraged herself to ask Jim about his watch. Jim, mm, may I see your watch? I think it matches the golden chain. I sold it for this. Jim searched in his pocket, then placed a pair of comb. Della was so confused, she rubbed her hair spontaneously. Oh. <laughs> the comb was made of tortoise skin, rimmed with jewel. The one and only she dreamt of because she could never afford to buy them. The couple was in silence for a moment. Then, they started to look at each other deeply. 
slowly. Della smiled prudently. Jim walked to Della and hugged her. He whispered these words. When we love someone, we will give the best and sometimes we must sacrifice. These gifts are tokens of our love. We can do it because God has given his token of love, Jesus Christ, to us. Della marveled at the calm that Jim gave her. She took the calm and walked to the mirror. Slowly, she placed the calm right above her ears. You look more beautiful. Jim walked to Della and hugged her from her back. The couple stared at each other lovingly, looking at themselves in the mirror.
Merry Christmas, dear. Merry Christmas, Jim. I love you. I love you too. This is the end of the most wonderful, beautiful Christmas story. But I pray and hope that the joy of Christmas and the love of Christmas stays in our hearts forevermore. Merry Christmas, everyone.